Guess what today is? It's Fan Friday! It's time for Fan Friday again! You guys are going to see a little bit of a behind the scenes of the Christmas tree! Can't show you the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree video will be going up Monday. So you'll see our entire Christmas tree and the dogs helping us put it up on Monday. Lizzie wants to know, where are the dogs' favorite places to sleep? Well, at night when we go to bed, Shelby and Shiloh usually end up in the bedroom with us. And Oakley actually stays out here and sleeps in her kennel. Uh, during the evening when we're home from work, Shelby likes to be on the couch with me. Shiloh likes to steal Oakley's kennel. And Oakley usually gets stuck laying on that rug or the little rug over there in front of her kennel. That's pretty much where they sleep. Sleep. Robin wants to know, what are their eating habits? Mine will only eat once a day and sometimes will skip a day altogether. Um, I was feeding them twice a day at one point in time, and then I went back to feeding them just once a day, which actually seems to work out better for them. Their whole digestive system seems to work a little bit better for our routine by feeding them just once a day. But they, they eat once a day, usually about 5 o'clock every day. And uh, Shiloh's the only one that sometimes won't eat her food, but she's been like that her whole life. She'll, she might go a day without eating, and then the next day she'll eat twice as much. But they're pretty routine on their eating habits. Natasha wants to know what we feed our girls. We feed all the girls Canada dog food. Uh, even Shiloh is back on Canada now. Shiloh gets um, the Canada Pure Elements fish formula, and then Oakley and Shelby get just the Canada All Life Stages. The one that Shiloh is on is a completely grain-free food, and then the one that Shelby and Oakley are on is just the normal Canada All Life Stages. Nothing special about it. Shiloh gets the special food. Don't you, Shy? Jacob wants to know, is Shelby the only one of your dogs that lies flat like that? Like, on her stomach, you mean like, like this, on her stomach with her front legs out and her back legs out the other way? Um, yes. Shelby is the only one of the girls that does that. Matt wants to know, how often should I take my husky on walks, and how often should I give my husky a bath? You can see it's almost dinner time. Um, you should take them on walks as often as you can. I would say at least once a day if you can, if you don't have a big yard to let them run around and play in. I would say at least one walk a day is probably good. As for baths, I probably bathe my girls maybe twice a year, and that's about it. I mean, we brush them and everything in between, but for a full-on bath, about twice a year. Karina, I hope I said that name right, who is a new fan, wants to know, do any of the girls like to cuddle? Our 10-week-old husky puppy loves to cuddle on her laps. It's fine now, but I can't imagine when he's full grown. Um, <laughs> Shelby here is 54 pounds, and Shelby loves to cuddle. She did it when she was little, and she still does it now. She wants to sit right in your lap and be up close with you, so if it's not something you want to have to deal with when they get older, you're kind of going to have to push them away now, but at the same time, when you're sitting on your couch and it's cold and chilly, having that husky dog right next to you all curled up wanting to sit in your lap, it's kind of nice. Did you just wink at me? Did you just wink at me? Susan wants to know if we've ever had anybody call our dogs wolves, any little kids. Yes, especially when we're up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan because there actually are wolves up there. We'll be walking the dogs down different trails and a lot of times we'll get that from little kids. Oh, look at the wolves, look at the wolves. So yeah, we do hear that quite often. You know, we always have to tell them they're not really wolves or huskies, but I guess as a kid, it's kind of cool to think that somebody's walking a pack of three wolves. Rebecca wants to know, did Shelby freeze when you put the backpack on her? If you guys didn't see the backpack video that I put up on Monday. Hi, Shelby. You crazy girl. Um, yes, when I first put that backpack on Shelby, she pretty much froze and didn't move. I didn't want to put that part in the video. I wanted to kind of show you guys the backpack, so I needed her to move around a little bit. So we walked her around in it a bit first to get her used to it so we could do the good demonstration on the video. Jonathan wants to know, how do Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley react to other huskies or other dogs? They usually react pretty well to most other dogs. They get very excited and want to play like any dog. Well, I guess almost any dog that wants to play. When it's just another dog, they're fairly excited, but when it's another husky, they definitely do their little husky talk. It's like they know that that's a husky and they need to talk to it in that husky voice. Anne wants to know, what kind of dog food would you recommend for a dog that has allergies? Well, I have a dog that has allergies, which is Shiloh, who's curled up on the couch over there. And she's the one I feed the grain-free food. It's definitely something you should talk with your vet about, but a good place to start is a good quality, all-natural, grain-free food. Because it could very well be the corn or something, you know, a simple grain that is causing the dog's allergies. A lot of dogs are actually allergic to those things. 
Shiloh is also allergic to beef, so she is on the salmon formula, the Canada Pure Element Salmon Formula. So that's some place that I would start. In the mail today, we got a Christmas card, and I recognize these dogs. This is Maya, and Asia, and Cody, I think. I think I got the names right. And we got a Christmas card from them and their families. What do you think about that? We also got another Christmas card from our friend Cheryl with this really cool magnet that I am totally putting up on my fridge right now. Peace, love, and dogs. Best slogan ever. It's totally going up in my fridge. Thanks for the Christmas cards, you guys. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And be sure to check back on Monday for the decorating the Christmas tree video. It was fun. I went with a blue and white theme this year, as you can tell from our sneak peek. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys.